So there's a man walking down the street on a nice sunny day, and he's eating a double scoop of ice cream, you know, a vanilla, happy, super happy. And he looks to his left and he notices an old man with a dog. And he sees that the dog is moaning, groaning, complaining. And he tells the old man, hey bro, what's up with your dog? The old man goes, oh nothing, he's just sitting on a nail. So the man replies, why doesn't he just get up? The old man says, well see, the nail hurts him enough just for him to complain, moan, groan, but it doesn't hurt him enough for him to get up and move. So I guess the moral of the story is that how many people do we know that complain about their lives, their jobs, traffic, everything, that complain about everything, but yet do nothing to solve the issue. So growing up in a middle class background, growing up in a middle class background, um, discussing money is just something that people feel very uncomfortable with. Why? Because growing up, we're convinced that asking to be wealthy and rich is, um, is something that's too much to ask for. See, when we begin to think about this, it becomes a reality. When we begin to think about this, it becomes reality. Um, so, as I started exploring um, different income options, I began networking with many people. I came across a mentor who really changed my view of money. See, I noticed that there's two ways to look at money. One is the root to all evil. The second one is a tool to achieve financial freedom so that you could do whatever it is that you want to do in life. See, to me, money doesn't change people. To me, money makes you twice of what you already are. So if you're a greedy person, which if you get money, you're gonna be more greedy. If you're a giving person, if you have money, you're gonna be more giving. So by learning about the cash flow quadrant, you're gonna have a better understanding of how the rich are able to have their money work for them while we work for our money. So what is the cash flow quadrant? The cash flow quadrant, the cash flow quadrant is a concept that was made by a man named Robert Kiyosaki. This man is an American investor, businessman, slash real estate agent with a net worth over $80 million. So we can agree that this guy knows business. He knows what he's talking about. So this, um, he's also the author of a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. I don't know if any of you guys read that book or are familiar with that book. Um, so so, um, so what is the cash flow quadrant? So the cash flow quad, so this, this um, concept was made so that people have a better understanding of how money works within our society, how our system works, different um, ways of creating the income in the United States, legal ways. So, so um, the, first, the first way of making money is being an employee. Um, these guys pretty much take the traditional route, go to school, get a degree, get a job, get a secure job. Uh, they, but the thing is that they find themselves doing the same thing over, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to work. See, the problem with this is that they trade, uh, they trade 100% of their income comes from their time. And there's only so many hours in a day, yet there are only so many hours that you're able to work. The second way of making money is being self-employed. So these, this is for like the people that are a little bit more ambitious with their education, who went to school to become lawyers and doctors. See, the thing about lawyers and doctors is that they find themselves trading more time for more money. For more, yeah, it's, they find themselves doing, trading more time for more money, why? Because they become everything, they become the boss, they become everything that within a business, they become that. So they're, so not only is that, I mean, it's a disadvantage, but their, their business is not profiting unless they are there to perform everyday tasks. So now that, so now that I have discussed the left side of the quadrant, I will now introduce you guys to the right side of the quadrant. So the right side of the quadrant is where, the, to understand the quadrant, you must understand that the right side of the quadrant is where all the wealthy people are. See, so the, right, the first way of making money on the right, the right side of the quadrant is becoming a business owner. These guys operate on a system. These guys come up with a system that is easy enough to teach their employees so that their employees run the system while they sit back and watch their money work for them. See, for example, McDonald's. You never see the owner of McDonald's flipping your burger. He's on, um, he's always, he's in the back. You know, he, if you go to McDonald's, you see the left side, you go to, you see the left side is the, the drive-through, 
the front is the cashier and all the condiments, and in the back is the where the cooking happens, and the right side is where the restrooms are. That's just where it goes in every McDonald's. See, so these guys are able to create a leverage income off their employees' backs. The last way of making money is on is on the right side of the closet is being an investor. This is where you have your money work for you too. The thing is that these type of people are very important to us. Why? Because they're the ones who handle our insurance, they have the investment in insurance, our IRAs, our mutual funds, and even our banks are full of investors. What investors do is that they take your money, they invest it in the financial market, and they keep all the big earnings while they give you a slight percentage. Why? Because they're the only ones with the knowledge of investing. So, so now that you are familiar with the cash flow quadrant, you have, now that you're familiar with the cash flow quadrant, you're, you have a better understanding of how our system works. Now I'll discuss why the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poor. See, the truth is, the truth is that 90% of the population is on the left side of the quadrant, fighting for 10% of the wealth. On the right side of the quadrant, you have ten percent. You have ten percent of the population playing with ninety percent of the money. See, that's where the problem is. That's where the problem is. See, that's why I chose network marketing to be to work to to build my fortune because these people pay you on a concept called residual income. Residual income is something is a, like is pretty much the concept of getting paid every month for some for work that you did one time. So you we have bills that are residual. So why not have an income that's residual as well? so that you're able to pay those bills. And maybe the, the income that you get from your regular job is money so that you can invest to be, to be a part of the right side of the quadrant. That's one thing that they don't tell us. So now that I've, so now that I've discussed, now that, I, now that you know what the cash flow quadrant is and the different mentalities, I will conclude my speech. Uh, first I've discussed what the cash flow quadrant is and all the different and all the different um, mentalities and ways of making money through this quadrant. And now, um, so, so closing off, it's to me, it's better than doing a, it's doing a job. It's better to do a job because you love it rather than because you have to and get up to make a living. See, the quality of your life begins to change once you do something that you love. You can become more excited. With this information, I hope you guys find different ways of um, creating and leverage income for yourself so that way you guys are able to do the things that you want to in life without really wasting your time on things that are very not very important. That's it.